you. Thank you. Appreciate being here today. I um, I had the privilege to uh, to be running a little tight on time, and I was, so I was rushing on over here, and the policeman said, "Excuse me, sir, but uh, do you know you were going 30 miles and over the speed limit?" I had no idea. I'm so sorry that um, sometimes the rules that they give you, you know, uh, limit people. So I don't come from that space, so I'm surprised I wasn't going 100 miles and over the speed limit. So, but I'm so thankful to be here, and I just uh, thank them kindly for the the citation and and bless them with uh, an incredible life for himself. And thank you for doing such a great job. Keep us safe. I told him I said, you know, since there wasn't any traffic. Uh, before me and behind me, and uh, <clears throat> no one knows about it. I just want to make sure that you know that I'm very grateful you stopped me so we can connect. And if you want to give me the privilege to give me a little warning, well, I deeply appreciate it. <laughs> and he says, well, if it wasn't 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, I probably would have, but I just need to follow. See, the thing is, I have my buddy in the car, and he's watching everything I do. He's in, he's in training right now, so... I need, I need to do Boys this, okay? Club. <laughs> What's that? Boys club. Boys club. <laughs> I'm better than you, Lou. <laughs> Are they here? <laughs> no. So that's where, yeah. You came to the right place. We love you. Once again, um, thank you for being here today. And I'm very thankful and privileged to, to be here and to have this opportunity to share these teachings uh, once again. I promised I would when I was um, 30... Eight years ago, I was actually dying in bed, and I promised that if I was given the teachings and the knowledge to what to do about getting myself well, I promised that I would do my best to serve and to share the teachings, whatever he passed on to me, and, and I would do that for the rest of the time that I'm here, and however that long it is, even if it's forever. And you know what? That's really why I'm standing right here before you. If, if it wasn't for Happy Oasis, um, she called me time after time after time, you know, making sure to connect, making sure to get a commitment for me to, to be here today. And um, if it wasn't for her perseverance, and if it wasn't for my girlfriend Judith, um, she, she like really wanted to be here, you know, so between those two, it was over. <laughs> and, um, but I am very, very thankful to have come and, and to share these teachings. So first, I'll give you a little background on myself so you have an idea of where I came from and why I'm here and, and how I made it through that near-death experience. And then I'm going to share these four profound principles that came from the other side. And, and thankfully, I've had three mentors since that taught me how to implement them into my life so that it could help me to stay on track and stay with it. Sometimes through life, when we, we learn things, we don't always hold on to them. Sometimes we slide off track. So I've had some very, very powerful mentors in my life that were very inspirational to me. And so I will do my best to, to share these teachings so that it may leave you inspired and motivated and educated enough to give you enough reason to adopt them for yourself. And so my prayer inside me coming here was that when, you share, when I share these teachings, for those that are able to have the ears to hear and the eyes to see and the heart to feel and sense the truth in, in these teachings, that you will apply them. You'll be inspired by them, motivated by them, educated, and have enough reason within yourself to adopt them. So you may be embracing them and, and having incredible results and success in your lives. So you can be free of the addictions and the afflictions and have an incredible, powerful, wonderful, vibrant life as, as well deserved. And so um, at, the, at the end, I'll be asking you if it left you that way. So when I go home tonight and go to sleep, I'll at least have an idea if it left some of you uh, and caused you to shift and transform into a powerful life for yourself. So first thing I'll do is give you the background. So um, in, 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 my, in my own experience, it was 30, 38 years ago, I was 21, and I was in the Air Force and I went through boot camp really well. And um, I was able to do like 90 pull-ups and at a time. In, in high school, I was taught and trained by an ex Green Beret. So um, I went up to him and I said, listen, I'm just coming into as a freshman in high school and I've been beaten up all my life by bullies. And I want to ask you if you'll teach me and train me how to um, get stronger and how to defend myself. Would you help me? 
and he took me on. He actually took me privately and started teaching me and training me. And the first time I tried to do a pull-up, I couldn't do one. And when he got done with me, I could do 90 pull-ups. Wow. Same thing with handstand push-ups and bar dips. And um, anyhow, before I knew it, I was able to do a mile in four and a half minutes, uh, four minutes underwater, and run 30 miles at a time, and be able to just do all kinds of things. Climb, climb a, six, a 20 foot rope in six seconds. The best is four seconds. So in six months, to do it in six seconds, it's not too bad. But anyhow, what I wanted to point out to you is that even though I got in pretty good shape, inside myself, I was still pretty miserable because I had been so beaten for so long that I couldn't seem to overcome the fear, the uh, resentment, the anger that was inside me for the people that hurt me in the past. I didn't know how to complete with the past. And that's why, as I've become to be known as a holistic educator, holistic healer, it's really, really important that we get to understand how to think more powerfully and how to really operate from love and how to be able to get complete with the past issues and how to love all those experiences, you know, we'll talk more about that. But also, to know how to eat and how to drink and how to combine your foods and how to prepare your foods. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about these things. Those four principles I want to share with you are really simple, but yet very profound. So for those of you that adopt them, I, I, I submit that you will have incredible success from it. In fact, some of you have already been adopting it for a while. Is there anybody here that has been to any of the introductions? This is kind of like a, a little introduction. Over in Orange County in LA right now, once a week, I do uh, what they call uh, PowerPoint presentations where they're more in depth. And then I do six hour workshops where it goes even deeper on a deeper level. Uh, sometimes uh, Be Live and I do uh, what they call raw gourmet cultured food classes where we teach people how to make living cultured foods, enzyme activated foods. They're very, very powerful. And um, so we do usually do that once a month uh, over there in that area. Sometimes people fly me over to Arizona or back east or, or Florida or Texas, whatever it is, and have me do these type of talks with them. But nevertheless, um, so after I was out of boot camp, my, my body started breaking down. I started developing digestive disorders where I started going to the bathroom a couple times a day, I started going to the bathroom every other day, and every three days, and then once a week, and then once every two weeks, and then once every three weeks. So when you're eating three meals a day and going to the bathroom once every three weeks, you know what that means, don't you? They're very, very constipated, backed up, blocked up, and full of it, right? <laughs> and so I was so full of it that I became so toxic. And you might imagine that if you have that stuff sitting inside you for that long, I mean, you're going to become toxic. Well, I became so toxic, I ended up with severe acne, chronic asthma, and arthritis, a big tumor behind my head, a lot of allergies, rashes on my body. I was very sick. I was so sick that I got to the point where I was dying. Before these things happened to me, um, I was told to have surgery on the tumor behind my head. It was about the size of a golf ball. Um, they wanted to just keep shooting me up with the medications. And I got to this point where one day I, I, I was in the hospital and I was waiting in line for the medication because I had to take it all the time. Consequently, while I was standing there waiting, all of a sudden I had a realization where, and, it, and I realized that we as people when we were created, were created to have a vibrant, healthy, long quality life, a peaceful life, a harmonious life, a powerful life. And, um, and I realized that <laughs> that wasn't happening to me, so I knew something was missing. Now, how many people here really believe without a shadow of a doubt that we're designed and, and it was given our birthright to, to be healthy, vibrant people? Long lives, right? Woo! Peaceful, harmonious lives. Perfect. Well, as I realized that, and I, had asked, I already had asked doctors for months what was causing my diseases, and no one seemed to know what was causing my conditions. No doctor. Now, I'm not... Uh, this is not to put down doctors in any way because they're doing their job at their best. All I'm saying is, you know, that they were, they just didn't seem to know. And to this day, most of them don't know. So anyhow, when I was in the hospital, all of a sudden I found myself putting my hands together, surrendering, and just asking that who created us, what is it that's actually causing all my diseases? And what is it are the solutions that I could do to overcome and conquer them? And how is it that I can 
to live in such a way how was I meant and we as people meant to live so that we could be healthy and be well and have a good life like we all deserve to have, like you intended for us to have. That's what I want to know. Does it make sense to you that if you could understand what causes all diseases and you understand solutions to what you could do about them so you can overcome and conquer them, and if you know how to live and live powerfully the way we were meant to live, that we were designed to live, if you could know those three things, does it make sense to you that you have the opportunity to overcome, conquer the diseases, and live a powerful life? Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So, thank you. So, so I asked for those three things, and then all of a sudden, I felt this presence come to the side of me. I looked to see who it was, and I see nothing. It was just, just empty. There's nothing there. But I felt somebody right here, right next to me. And, um, and then I was told, walk away and I will teach you. Now before we go any further, I, I gotta ask you. Is there any, just so, just so I have a, a sense. I'm only, I'm only sensing already that there's some here that have experienced something of that nature. But please raise your hand if you've ever connected somehow where you've been instructed, you've been directed somehow, if you've experienced a presence of some sort. How many people have actually experienced something of that nature? Wow. Well, about three-fourths of you. That's powerful. Thank you so much for sharing part of yourself to me that way. You see, for, for many years, I walked around thinking that was so weird. It's so out of the ordinary, so different. I would never tell anybody about that, hmm. you know, until, until years went by. But anyway, I walked out of that hospital, and I trusted... In the, in the instruction I was given. And I went to sleep that night. And when I woke up later on that night walking uh, with a chronic asthma attack, and as I was suffocating, right there at the edge of my deathbed, I felt like I only had a few breaths left. And, but as I was suffocating, I went through this near-death experience where I had a reflection of my past. Very quickly, I saw my whole life before me. And I was taken back to when I was a little boy, and I said, I wanna die. My life is so miserable, it, life is not even worth living. So just, just take me right now. I don't want to live. And I caught myself saying that. And when I said that, all of a sudden I realized why I was suffering. All of a sudden I realized why I was dying. I wasn't the one that asked for it. How many people here believe without a shadow of a doubt that if you ask for something, and you say it with, with your heart and with powerful intention, that it will manifest into the future for your lives? How many, really? Raise your hand if you believe that. Like you know that without a shadow of a doubt. You manifest. We're responsible. We're the ones that are inviting, creating, and attracting everything that we experience for a reason, for a purpose. So anyway, when I was experiencing all that, right? All of a sudden, I found myself changing my mind about the idea of dying. And so, I surrendered once again and I just said, that who created us, I just said, please either take me right now and I'll serve you in spirit. I would rather live, if that may be the case, but if that's the case, then show me. Show me how. Show me how to live, because whatever I've been doing, even though I wasn't smoking, drinking, or taking drugs, I was hurting, and I was hurting very badly. I just didn't know how to live. I really, honestly, I didn't know how to love, I didn't know how to think, I didn't know how to feel, I didn't know how to eat, drink properly. There's a lot of things I didn't know how to do. And I figured if I knew how to, how to do it properly and live a good life, I, I would have done it. I just didn't know how. Because I was so caught up in hating my life and being so miserable inside. So I really didn't want to live. So I, I just took my life for granted in a sense. But the, the, important, the important thing is, is that right there, all of a sudden I said, look, you show me the way and I, I promise you, you have my word, that I would take these teachings when I get well and recover, I will take these teachings, these four principles, and I will spread them throughout the world into the future. And, and, I, and I will do it as long as I'm here on this planet. And that's really why I'm here in this moment, because I've been asked of. But anyhow, right after that, I saw this bright light in my room. It was so bright. And then I saw a presence by my bed, and I was given these teachings that I'm gonna share with you here in the next few moments. And then, I went to the deepest sleep ever. I woke up the next day, and I woke up so grateful and so thankful and excited to have been given another chance to live. And then I didn't even understand these teachings. 
So then I asked if I could meet someone that could mentor me and show me how to implement them. And right after that, I met this guy. I met him and I really thought he was around 32, 33 years of age. And later I found out he was 52. When you meet somebody who's 20 years younger than they really are in, in real life, it, got, it just gets your attention. And that's what happened. So anyhow, he took me under the wing, he taught, mentored me, and within six months, that big tumor I had behind my head dissolved. It went away. Wow. So did the acne, the asthma, the arthritis, the constipation, the allergies, the, the uh, rashes on my body, all disappeared in six months. And guess what? Ever since then, everybody that, is, that have learned these principles and have adopted them and have done them in the way that I've instructed them to do it, as I have done for myself, they've overcome every form of sickness and disease and infectious diseases, people dying, and, and you know people with gangrene in their feet because of diabetes i've seen all that stuff disappear because of this work so it's been very very profound very simple profound work and I, i'm just like look at i look at it and i just go how simple but yet so profound so please be careful not to overlook the simplicity behind it sometimes the simplicity is the essence of good design so remember we're very powerful individuals we're spiritual, electrical, unlimited beings, mm. is who we are. And that's one thing I, I, I invite you to take on for yourselves. Anyhow, so the, so after I got out of the Air Force, all I could think about is share it with my family and my, my parent, my friends in, in Orange County. And I went back home, I, I passed it on to my parents, my family, my friends, my brothers and sisters and all that. And guess what? Everyone rejected everything I said for two years. And then I thought, well, they're not interested, and I don't know how to share it, so I'm going to be silent. So I went silent for 12 years, and I moved away from Orange County and went up to Washington. I lived off the land for many years. 12 years later, I had long hair down to my waist. And, and, you know, in actuality, I'm really a hippie in disguise. And you didn't know. <laughs> but I changed my image because when I talk to people from ages of little ages to people that are 70, 80 years of age, they listen more to someone who has short hair compared to when I used to have long hair, you see? So a lot of times when I had the long hair, people thought I was into uh, smoking marijuana or taking drugs or, you know, whatever. They just thought I was doing other things, you know? So by, by changing the image and just living a real simple, clean life as I had for many years, just by changing the image and just start sharing the teachings in the way that I've been instructed over 12 years of of meditating and praying for the guidance and the, and the preparation for this kind of work. Twelve years later, I was given instruction to begin sharing these teachings once again. So I did. I started sharing the teachings in 1988, and then all of a sudden, before I knew it, people started listening. And all of a sudden, in the last 22 years, there's been over 300,000 people uh, directly and directly greatly impacted by this work. And I've been doing it by hand doing it by seminars, workshops, classes, one-on-ones, whatever, all by hand. And recently, uh, Brian snuck me, on on, snuck me on on YouTube somehow, because I don't know much about computers. Oh yeah, and then he got me, he got me interested, uh, uh, hook, you know, hooked up to, he had Dan, where's Dan, is Dan here? He's not here now. Um, but anyway, Dan, uh, some of you might know him, the, the library generator, he, he came to a talk like this and he asked me if I would, uh, if he could interview me on, on YouTube or something. Before I knew it, a whole lot of people started began, began to know these things. And so thankful am I that these teachers are starting to spread more and more. In the near future, uh, I will definitely take the time to sit down and write the books, the workbooks, make a bunch of DVDs, make a website so it's available for everybody worldwide. So they, because these teachers are simple but very, very profound. So now to the teachings. The first principle is related to the spiritual, mental, emotional connection. The communi the, how you communicate on a cellular level is huge. Mm -hmm. So you need to know that every cell in your body, every cell in your body, they, they know exactly what you're thinking. They know exactly what you're saying. They know exactly how you feel. They respond to what you think and what you say and what you feel. They respond to what you even eat and drink. They're in a cellular level. Mm -hmm. So I want you to identify that you're made up of over 35 trillion cells that make up your body. So from a cellular standpoint, we just need to know that every single thought, every feeling, the emotional experience that you have, 
everything you eat and drink, how you prepare things, what you do with your mind, what you do with people, how you work, how you, your state of being, everything involved, your cells are responding. So your cells are either regenerating or degenerating. So you just need to ask yourself the question, if you have declared your life to regenerate and maintain cellular integrity, and you truly want to be lean, clean, serene, radiant, strong, and vibrant with abundance of energy, and be powerful individual, then raise your hand. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I love that. I'm so, so grateful that you guys are here. So, so when you learn how to think more powerfully, and we'll go a little bit into that, and also how to start tapping into the emotional state that you're in, you learn how to get clear, complete with past issues. You know, when, one of the things I was instructed when I was uh, going through the near-death experience was, I was, I was, first of all, I was given that instruction that we were truly spiritual, electrical, unlimited beings, and that, that I was to love and to forgive and to bless all the people that ever hurt me or ever neglected, rejected, abused me in any way, shape, or form, that I was to love them and truly forgive them and to accept them and to bless them with love. At that time, I was I was a little bit on the mafioso side, so I didn't have that mentality. So, so when people hurt me, I used to hurt people back, and I, I I didn't know how to love. Or and at that time, to be honest with you, I didn't even know how what love really meant. I didn't even know what forgiveness even meant. Acceptance, the idea of blessing other people that ever hurt you, I, that was so far from my consciousness at that time. And that was one of the things that I was instructed to do. And so I encourage each one of you that you learn to master the art of loving and forgiving and accepting and blessing all the people in your past that ever may, may have hurt you or offended you, uh, violated you in any way, shape, or form, and you bless those people mm. and love those people. Mm -hmm. And because you see, every experience that we go through the good, the bad, and ugly is for us to learn, for us to grow, to evolve, to become stronger, better, wiser individuals. Does that make sense to you? Yes. See, but the only way that can happen, the only way you're able to accept that and actually embrace it powerfully is to be able to know that you are made up of love and you are love. And you're powerful individuals. You can allow yourself to rise in consciousness and be able to actually get to that point where you can actually have so much love so much consciousness going on that you can actually love people that have that haven't yet arrived to that consciousness these people that say things and do things and that hurt other people they don't know any better mm -hmm. they really don't know yet they don't know who they are yet they don't know the truth about who they are yet but see when you get acquainted with the truth of who you are it makes it ten times easier to be able to look at those experiences and go you know what you look, at, you look at the lessons. These are opportunities. Everything we experience is opportunities for us to learn from them, grow, evolve from them, and become 10 times more powerful than ever. So just keep that in mind. So anyhow, as you, if you want to know how to gauge and whether you're emotionally in a powerful state of being, emotionally stable, then you find yourself experiencing peace and harmony. You're, you find yourself just loving and caring and having a being creating win-win situations having a pure intention for others that kind of thing you, you you find yourself being a part of anything you can do to be a contribution to the world kind of thing but if you find yourself judging or criticizing or condemning or ridiculing yourself or others then that's when you know you go unstable because that's when you begin you begin to create a you might say a city condition in your body see once you know that and understand this is if you have any kind of stinking thinking going on or negative emotions going on or negative intentions going on you're creating an acidic condition in the body the body becomes acidic you become you become vulnerable and susceptible to every sickness every disease there is so so i'll just leave it with that the second principle i'll skim right over it very powerfully but it's related to the elements is learning how to integrate the elements how to integrate the sun air water and soil the longest living people in the world, 
This mentor that taught mentor me, he lived and studied under people living over 120, 130 years and plus years of life all over the world. He studied under masterful individuals. 20 years later, I got to study under another person who I thought was 35 when I met him. He was actually 57. Another one, uh, 14 years ago, I studied under him for a while. He was actually intensive 10 days like never before. It was amazing. Uh, I thought he was around 42, 43, and he was 75. He could hang off a pipe for one hour. Does anybody here know anybody that can hang for one hour off a pipe? <laughs> or off a tree? I mean, literally just hang with the grips of his hand. He had me hang, and three minutes later I fell. I hung for three minutes, and three minutes of hanging, just a straight hang, is better than most people can do on the whole planet. So, but within 10 days of his training, I got up to 10 minutes of hanging. So next time you see a pipe, go hang. Go hang 10. <laughs> and see what happens. And you'll see, you'll get an idea real quick uh, what it takes to do that. Anyhow, when you meet somebody who's 75 that can outrun you, outstretch you, outlift you, outhang you, anything he could do, he could do 10 times better than me. I'm going to show you a couple of demonstrations that it demonstrates core strength and he could do it, uh, I, I, my record was three minutes, he did 10 right in front of me. When you see somebody do those type of things, it's just like amazing type of stuff. And he, he also, all three of them followed the four principles. The second, the, the, this second principle I'm talking about, how to integrate the elements. One of the things I did a long time ago is I did 40 days in, in the wilderness on water. So as I did the breath work, as I drank the snow water, and as I buried myself into the earth, I got touched with the elements. So I encourage you to get at least one hour of sun a day, do some breath work, breathe slower and deeper. People, most people do shallow breathing, getting shallow results. So when you breathe slow and deep, at least start doing a little bit of breath work, like at least even 20, 30 minutes a day. Take a slow breath, hold it for eight seconds, let it out slowly, hold it for eight seconds. And do that for 30 minutes a day. That will take you to another level, believe me. Now, the master breath work, when he taught it to me many years ago, the first mentor, uh, well, that's the second mentor, it was Shigeki, the one that taught me how to heal myself. This was, gosh, 38 years ago. Um, he picked up a rock that would take four men to pick up effortlessly. So he taught me the breath work. Six months later, I did the rock effortlessly, very powerfully. So that's why I want you to get in touch with the breath. Now the master breath, how many of you want to know the master breath in, in 30 seconds or less? So you can start practicing it. All right, that's enough. I'm just going to tell you real simple. And then if you do it, please call. I'm going to give you an 800 number. You call me, you tell me you've done it, okay? You breathe in eight seconds in, you hold it for 32 seconds, and then you let it out 16 seconds through your mouth, and then you hold it for 32 seconds. And then you go from one rep to the next, like that for 30 minutes. So breathe in eight seconds, hold it for 32, let it out 16, hold it for 32. Remember, one rep after the other consistently for 30 minutes. And when you can do that consistently like that for 30 minutes, I would like you to call 1-800-240-6077. 1-800-240-6077. Call that number or you can get a hold of BeLife. And uh, or if there's any forms he gave you, you can always contact me through those, that number as well. But anyhow, call me let me know you've done it. Because I haven't had one person call me yet in 38 years. And I, and I shared to thousands and thousands of people and not one person's done it yet. Only the masterful people do that. So if you're one of the masters out there that want to master your life, then please uh, call me as soon as you can. And um, so the water you drink, make sure it's, there's, the best kind of water you can drink is called geothermal water. There's about eight famous places in the world that has geothermal water. It's pure alkaline structured water. And it has antioxidant potential. It's miracle water. It's amazing water. People go all over the world to drink this water to cleanse and heal and restore themselves. Repeat the name again. Geothermal water. Geothermal water. Lord of Francis is one of the places to give you a, a hint. And ne next to that, uh, the Kagan machine. Science has figured out a way how to make water go through a unit where it purifies, alkalinizes the water, structures the water, so that way, that way when it goes inside you, it, it actually hydrates your cells. 
it oxygenates your cells, it alkalinizes your cells, and also neutralizes free radicals from damaging your cells. It's called the, the Kagan unit. So you now have the phone number. Um, somebody who got a little form. It, are we able to get them all to everybody? You ran out. Okay. Well, if anything, if you need that unit, um, the form that you have, it, you can get you can get it through that unit and that number through that. You can get a unit that will do that. It's called the Kagan unit. And um, what alkalinity do you recommend on the Kagan unit? At first, you need to start off with maybe just 8.0. A little while, go to 8.5, 9.5 for a little while. Clean up, heal up. Once you're all healed up and cleaned up, then you go back down to 8.0 and you'll do fine. Some people need to just work slowly up to 9.5 because they're too toxic to drink 9.5 in the beginning. So um, but you, can give, you can be given instructions how to do it in the future. Anyhow, you need to... Uh, <clears throat> that, form, that form that she has, you can always uh, interact with each other and get those, that number and you can get it. Anyhow, <clears throat> how much water do you want to drink per day? At least drink, take your body weight. Let's say you're 120 pounds, divide it by two, you get 60 ounces that way. So you take your weight, divide it by two, convert it to ounces, and then you drink that per, per day. Now I like to drink coconut water with lime and little wheatgrass juice with it. I like to drink water, I like to eat watermelons, get water from that. Most of my food, most of my water, it comes from the food I eat. That goes into, that goes into how to eat raw living foods, water foods, enzyme activated foods. But I do drink geothermal water off and on, but I also drink uh, taking water off and on, but the, the fresh juices that I like to make, I use, right now I'm using a, a Green Star uh, Elite juicer, uh, it extracts quite well, but I like to drink uh, cucumber, celery, dandelion, parsley, cilantro, uh, those type of juices. I like to put a little lemon and ginger with it as well. Sometimes I run a hot banero through it, because I, I like spicy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyhow, I, I drink about a 40 ounce every day. And so I love the juice. It's really great. Anyhow, uh, the other thing is you want to get connected with the earth. Uh, spend at least a half an hour to an hour on the earth itself, barefoot. Get in touch with the earth. There's a, there's a frequency that the earth provides that is very powerful. And I really discovered that when, when I lived, when I was out in the wilderness for 40 days in water, I immersed into the earth. And the energy that I picked up was powerful, very powerful. And also the breath work and the sun that I was getting and also drinking the snow water. So I had so much energy, it, it was profound. I felt like I could have lived out there forever, the way, the way I felt. Anyhow, I was led to come back into the city and do the work. So here I am. So anyhow, um, so thankful am I. So, and also when you eat food, uh, at least do organic. I, most of you are already evolved enough to do organic. It's a lot better than commercial. Now, the third principle, quickly, uh, since we have just a few minutes left, the third principle is how to exercise the body. This is when you get into the yoga, uh, rebounding, swimming, breath work. Do the internal work. That's where it's at. And uh, the external form of exercise is weightlifting, calisthenics, running, sports, and things like that. That's, that's, the, in, that's the external form of work. The kind of work you want to emphasize on, your highest priority is doing the internal work. And um, so I encourage you to do at least 20, 30 minutes a day. Uh, when I say I haven't worked out for 40 years, the only thing I've been doing is about 20 minutes of yoga and breath work in the last you know, 40 years. But um, So we'll do a couple of demonstrations so you can see that if you also follow the fourth principle, is how to eat raw living cultured enzyme activated foods. The people who live the longest on the planet and are truly uh, have declared for themselves that they want to be lean, clean, serene, radiant, strong, and vibrant with abundance of energy and never get sick again. What would that be like? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, they eat, they eat fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, herbs in the natural state. The seeds, the nuts are soaked in water. The enzyme inhibitors are released. They're germinated, they're cultured. We teach people how to make almond coconut yogurt, how to make pine nut yogurt, walnut yogurt. Wow. So if you're going to eat any nuts or seeds, culturize them. Soak, germinate, culturize. Because when you culturize, it, it activates them. Now, now your body can easily digest, absorb, and utilize them. That's why I do cultured vegetables as well. Some of you have heard of sauerkraut, kimchi, cultured vegetables, right? You also culture your nuts and seeds, at least most of them. Because that way, 
Your body can easily digest them, absorb them, metabolize them, utilize them, and ma actually build muscle, hair, skin, and bones, manufacture metabolic enzymes and hormones, and keep you in balance. Maintain, regain, and maintain cellular integrity. If you have cellular integrity, then you can do these, these, these little demonstrations I'm going to show you, and way beyond that. And I'll show you those demonstrations, and then uh, I would like to show you another demonstration, um, the oatmeal demonstration. Maybe I should show them that first. Yeah, let's do that now. Uh, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is we're going to take some cooked oatmeal cereal, and uh, thankfully, uh, <laughs> Joel is going to do the demonstration for us, and the sticky, the sticky goo gooey oatmeal cereal, it's just been cooked oatmeal cereal. A lot of people eat it, but it's dead. There's no life energy in it. Anytime you cook food, all the energy, all the energy is taken out. So it destroys all the enzymes in any cooked food. So watch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, these are medical grade plant full spectrum highly active enzymes. So as, as Joel is basically mixing the enzymes and the oatmeal together, you're going to see the oatmeal, uh, the enzymes are going to activate and the oatmeal is going to begin to break down and liquefy. So as, as the enzymes activate and liquefy the oatmeal, what I want you to get in touch with is this. When you eat raw living foods, enzyme activated food, when it goes into your system, when you chew it up really well and get it into your system, you will pre-digest that food. When it goes into your intestinal tract, you'll be able to pre-digest it, you'll be able to absorb it, utilize it, metabolize it, and build muscle, hair, skin, and bones, and maintain enzymes, manufacture enzymes and hormones, and maintain cellular integrity. So as the enzymes and the oatmeal gets mixed in, as it gets broken down and liquefied, as you see here before your eyes, I just want you to know that even I, myself, still take plant enzymes of this nature. These are medical grade plant enzymes. But the reason I still take them is because organic living food in the U.S. Uh, country that we live in is running 25 to 75 percent enzyme and mineral deficient. That's the sad part. That's why because the organic farmers are not doing enough composting, the proper composting that it takes to feed the soil. Our soil is depleted over many years now. I have friends that have been doing raw foods for over 35 years like myself and they are, their hair is falling out, they're degenerating, they're falling apart and there's no way they can do what I'm going to show you right now. So. Go ahead, as, as, it, uh, as the enzymes and the oatmeal mixed up, you can begin to see that it's already liquefying enough to where it's just dropping right out of the other glass from one glass to the other. In a matter of a minute, uh, it will be liquefied even more. So the idea is, when you eat food, eat raw living foods. If you still eat cooked food, and you're in the process of gravitating into raw living foods, at least take some powerful enzymes to help you maximize the digestion of that food. Because you see, every time you eat cooked food, every time you eat cooked food, your body has to use more of its own enzymes to digest cooked food more than you manufacture. So you want to eat enzyme-rich food. If your food, to begin with, is coming from deficient soil, and if you eat, even if you eat it raw in a fresh state, it's enzyme deficient. So if you take a few of the enzymes, it helps you maximize the digestion. The idea is to master digestion. So you can assimilate all of it, metabolize all of it, eliminate all of it, and run efficient. Now, most people have been eating cooked foods over many years. What's been happening is every time you cook food, you're using more of your enzymes in your body to digest it more than you remanufacture, which causes you to become enzyme depleted through time. Once you become enzyme deficient through time, here's what happens. When you eat cooked food and you already become enzyme deficient, you end up with a partial digestion. That means some of your food gets digested and some of it doesn't. So the portions of undigested proteins, carbohydrates, and fats putrefy, ferment, and residify in the body, which attracts parasites, viruses, bacteria, and yeast. And as it accumulates in the body, it leads to every sickness and disease people have today. Is that making any sense to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So when Dr. Edward Hell, medical doctor scientist, determined and discovered after 50 years of research, studying every culture throughout the world, the longest living people in the world, and when he found out that these people eat raw living 
enzyme activated foods and live the longest on the planet he, when he discovered that he realized oh my gosh and then he discovered that when people eat cooked food it just keeps robbing and robbing and stressing out the pancreas over time so when the body is already in some deficient and they're not digesting everything assimilating everything eliminating everything running deficient they end up attracting those parasites, viruses, and bacteria, and yeast, and this is what happens. So they end up with cancer, diabetes, arthritis, infections, every disease you can think of, they have it. And it's linked to an enzyme deficiency. So from this point on, I'm going to invite you to the idea that from this point on, you declare that you love your life so much that you're grateful for it, and you breathe slower and deeper, and you eat raw living foods, and stretch every day. Stretch your body beyond measure. Just stretch it and keep stretching it until you become very limber and stay that way. And, and just keep breathing and, and eat raw living foods, enzyme activated foods. And I'm going to encourage you to fast at least one day a week on water or fresh juices and water, however, and let your organs rest. And so I'll go ahead and finish off with these two little demonstrations off the floor or off the ground. And that way you guys can, can um, see what happens from there. And if you want to try it, you can. And then we'll open up for the next person that needs to talk. Because when you see this demonstration, it just lets you know that there's something going on here. It allows you to, it just demonstrates cellular integrity, core strength. I'll do that and then we're done. Thank you, Lou. Oh, by, by the way, I don't know, is there a speaking, is there a place where they can ask questions if they need to go somewhere else? Where could they go? Where would you like them to go? Um, anywhere where it's just quiet for people to listen and hear. Um, how about in that in a teepee. Yes. In a teepee. If anybody has any questions and want to learn more about how to implement or any questions about anything, go to that teepee and I'll go over there and I'll, I'll hang out and we'll just answer questions if you like. I'll do these demonstrations for you too. They only take a couple seconds and then you can go over there if you like. Other than that, you know that I love you, don't you? know, right? I love every one of you big time. You guys were very attentive, very powerful, and I, I, I'm so excited about your future because I know where it has the potential to go to. So I'll do these demos now. I'll do it right here. Let's see. How about out here? So they're good. Joel. Yeah. Tell them I've only seen seven people do this. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this demonstration that Lou's about ready to do the past, what, 38 years, he's only seen seven other people do this exact demonstration for about a minute or more that's that's the qualifier four of those were mentors of his so there's only been three other people that he's seen just out of a crowd for example over 300,000 people that he's spoken to directly or indirectly that have been able to do this most of them have been very well trained like gymnasts things of that nature so look at the fingertips and this is all core <laughs> His record is three minutes on that and five minutes for this one. So if you guys want more information, those registration cards, fill them out. We'll make sure to get more information to you. Thank you so much. Our next speaker is here, and our MC is...